everyone, it's Stevie. I'm back with another unboxing. For all of you that have tuned into my last video, um, the review on the uh, Donna Love hair wigs, this is the follow-up video with the Webster wigs. Um, I have just received, like literally I just received my new wig, my Ariel in uh, Frosted Peach. So I'm very excited about that. Um, actually, this entire, this past weekend, I've been wearing um, my Donna Love hair wig, and I've been getting compliments up the yin-yang for it, so I'm very excited about that. So here is the box. It comes in a little white box. Um, and I've already, like, pre-cut the package, like, the paper and stuff, or the paper. I've already pre-cut the tape, so it comes like this. I haven't even opened yet, so I don't even know what the heck's going on in here. So we've got bubble wrap. Um, nothing else in the box. It's just this package. So first off, what I see is a insert. It's very nice. It's a pamphlet. And you do get a wig cap with it also. A nylon one instead of a fishnet one. So that's always nice. Um... But this is Webster Wigs Wig Design and Styling Wig Styling Tips and Maintenance Guide. So we've got inside, we've got caring for your wig, for a straight wig, and for a curly or wavy wig. So that's good. Um, I did I did reach out to Webster Wigs too just because I ordered a curly, well Ariel is a beachy, beach wave wig. And I asked, I said, if I do straighten that wig is it going to come back once I get it wet, you know, like normal hair? And he's, he did reach out to me and say, no, if you do straighten it, it will remain straight. Um, you'll never be able to get back. I mean, I would have to try very, very hard, even with my experience with curling. I would have to try very hard to achieve that beachy wave again. So, unfortunately... This is a synthetic wig, so I will not be heat styling it. Um, it does tell you how to restyle your wig, in case you are ever wondering about that. Since it is a synthetic wig, you can only set it on to 150 degrees Celsius, which I'm not good at converting. I'll put that right here, what it is in um, degrees Fahrenheit. And... Um, it also suggests curling with steam, too. My previous experience with steam is making dreadlocks, and I hate it. So, because I burn myself so much, so I've just decided I'm not going to be restyling this wig at all. It's just, it is what it's going to be, and that is that. That's why I picked it. Um, and then it also has some contact information, too. In case anybody is interested in ordering a Webster wig, here's where you can get one. So, and then on the inside too, I should show you. It's got pictures of different people. The only one I recognize is Jeffree Star, and I don't even know. I feel so bad, I don't know the other two. I mean, I've seen them around, but I don't know their names. Sorry. Um, so then, I guess, just get right to it. It comes in this very nice or uh, organza bag. Is that what they call them? The organza bags? <gasps> oh, this color. This color is to die for. So, right away, um, but upon reaching into the bag, oh, and this is a super heavy wig too, good lord. I don't know why, I just, are, I ordered like long wigs. This is, every time I look at wigs, I'm like, oh, I'm long hair. Long, long flowing locks. And, got to take the paper out. Oh wow, you guys. Look at this beautiful blonde hair. <gasps> it smells gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This wig. This wig is beautiful. Oh my heavenly lord. Yeah, so this one <laughs> is definitely beautiful. The hair is ridiculously soft. Like, I'm just brushing my hands through, and it's amazing. Like, there are no tangles, no snarls. Oh, just kidding, just kidding. 
oh wow but look at that color like close up it's a beautiful peach blonde it's called frosted peach but I mean like it looks like oh god there's just like so many like very light blondes and then there's some like golden blondes in there it's just beautiful that is absolutely stunning um, so right away we can see the lace front and that is a very very nice hairline it's very here I'll move my hands it's very nicely done very well made too because I'm looking at it and it's just it's gorgeous um, and then on the inside, when we turn it inside out, looks like we have some room to play for parting. Like, literally. I think it goes... Yeah, it literally goes from ear to ear. You get about an inch or two for parting. And then you have the clips on the inside. I think there's three. Three clips. Um, but unlike the Donna Love hair, this one has two clips on the side right here and here and then it has one located in the back and then also it does have these little doodad strappies too so oh, I'm so excited for this wig you guys I've been like counting down the days to get this dang thing so I'm gonna get my hair ready not this hair my hair and I'll put a wig cap on and then we will get this on okay so one thing to notice about this wig cap, as opposed to actually both of my other wig caps, is that this band right here is much thicker. And I think I like that because it gives you more room to mask, as opposed to, here's a little line, and good luck with that. And like the last wig, I'm going to put it on, like, put my head into it. So... Let me move this back a little bit, and let's try it out. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, so Stevie's a blonde girl. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, so let's, let's secure the thing before we start playing with it. That's what I always do. So, we've got one clippy here. And yeah, that does hurt, so it's going to take some, some practice. Getting that to clip and not hurt. And then there was a thing in the back. Oh well, yeah, that one's easy to find. Oh my god! Look at that! Okay, so let's... I'm just gonna like put this down over my face so... You, we all know that there's a lace there. Oh, that looks super weird. Okay, I'll put it right there. Oh. I'm beaming. I'm, I'm beaming. beaming. This is ridiculous. Okay, so come on. Come back to Earth, Stevie. So this is the pe Frosted Peach Aerial Wig. And basically what they mean by aerial is that it has these nice beachy curl wave things going on. Um, and it's just freaking amazing. It's nice and long. It comes to boob length, which is nice. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And the, the hairline, too. The hairline comes down nice and um, even. So you couldn't even tell. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> so anyway, so here it is. I kind of feel like Rapunzel. Do I look like a freaking Disney princess or what? 
I don't even know what to say about this because this wig is just phenomenal. It's soft. It feels real. Like this hair feels super real. I'm gonna have to wear it for a couple days before I figure out how it snarls, how it wears. Let me cut off the lace because this is a keeper for sure. Yeah, because see, even when I pull this down, this comes way down here. But this is nice because, okay, so the other wig cap, or not the wig cap, but the other wig that I received from Donald Love Hair, as much as I love that wig, um, the cap itself, like the actual cap they used to make the wig, is almost too small for my head. Um, because I have a big head, I have all of those, you know, muscles in my cranium, and then I've got my hair going on too, which I think... I've played around with the idea of shaving my head at this point in time. I just can't make that commitment. <laughs> so maybe sometime down the road it'll happen, but unfortunately right now it will. It just won't. It's not going to happen. This wig cap fits over my hair. It fits up to my my hairline and actually further down too, so you don't even see my um my real hairline like I can pull this back and you don't even see it like you're like oh where did that dark hair go remember the dark hair that I was con the concealing yeah it's gone it's just gone no that's that's it and I feel like I feel oh you guys this is awesome I'm just I'm excited so um anyways let me <laughs> let me let me cut off maybe just like maybe I'll leave like a quarter inch and we'll see how that works out so hold on just a second okay so I'm back I've cut off my lace I've left just a tiny tiny little bit just so you can see it just around the hairline <sighs> I can't get over this so anyways so if you can see really closely don't mind my forehead like it's super dry But yeah, you can see how nicely that blends in. And I mean, I could probably take it up more too. And it would probably be fine. I just, I'm so nervous about leaving or not leaving enough. And then it'll look blunt again. But I think this is fantastic. This is super amazing. And so then when I, when I um, glue it down... I have to be honest, and by far, like, this is totally unexpected. Like, I did pay a lot more for this. Actually, I do have all of the details because I took a, a screenshot of it, which I'll put, I'll put right here. How about that? Um, but basically, it says the color is a peach undertone blonde. The style is loose salt spray waves, which we can obviously very much tell. Um, the length is shorter. Um, Donna Love Hair's wig was 24 inches. This is only 20 inches, and this is much more manageable for me. So I think that if you're definitely somebody that's looking for length, and you think I want hair down to my butt, I love hair, I love long hair. Trust me, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, whoever, get 20 inches. Maybe get 18 inches for starters. Because this is much more manageable than 24 inches. Like, it's crazy how much hair you get for 24 inches. Um, but this is 20 inches. It has 2 inches of parting space all the way around. Um, and it says, soft, invisible Swiss lace. Very cute. Very nice. The density is 150%, so there is a lot of hair to work with here. It says it's a natural contoured hairline with a small widow's peak, boop, which I did note in my last video, and three combs inside sewn for a more secure fit. And they also say that they can do custom orders also. If you want a certain color or a certain style, or you want your wig like this wig, if I wanted it styled, like if I just, God forbid, if I just went on a whim and said, I'm going to straighten it, which, good lord, I could really do that. 
I could send it back and say, hey, Webster Wags, can you make this, can you make this beachy blondie beautiful again? And they could do that for obviously for a price, but they can do that, which is a great option to have. So overall with shipping and the wig, the wig was 85. I think it was 85. Let me check. I don't want to mislead you guys. Okay. So the wig itself was $85 and shipping. So it, because they're in Great Britain, they base of their prices off of pounds. Um, so the subtotal for the wig was 65 pounds, which was a roughly $85. And then the shipping was 30 pounds. The shipping was 30 pounds, which is roughly about $40. It's like $39 in some sense. Um, so all in all, what I spent was approximately $120, $125. BTW, this, this video is not sponsored by Webster Wigs at all. Um, so I went online, I bought it myself, I bought everything myself. So this review is totally based on my real opinion because I spent my real money on this wig. And so far I am completely satisfied. So, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love this wig. And I can't wait to wear it around somewhere. I can't wait to go somewhere now. <laughs> so, let me know what you think of it. Um, do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you wish it was a different color? We're gonna have to come up with a name for this. So, throw me down some names below and we'll pick one and we'll see what we get, okay? Thank you everybody for watching. I had fun unboxing this beautiful wig and I can't wait to wear it outside. Um, any, any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll get to you. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!